Our guest today is Reno Deluzio, Chairman of the Town Meeting Study and Improvement Committee. Welcome, Reno. Well, glad to be here, Kevin. And I know you'd like to talk about the upcoming pre-town meeting meeting yes. that your committee is holding in October. Right. This is the uh, third pre-town meeting forum that uh, my committee is responsible to organize and manage. And um, the uh, pre-town meeting forum uh, will take place on October 22nd, our town meeting is October 28th, so it's roughly a week before the town meeting. Right, the town meeting is on a Monday, and this is the Tuesday yeah, the before. The Tuesday before, that's right. In Upper Town Hall. Yes. It's at 7 o'clock. That's right, 7 o'clock. Okay, now what's the purpose of this again? Well, you know, um, at town meeting, it's, it's not a, a forum for asking questions. It's really a debating forum. Right. And some of the concern of town meeting, because town meeting study committee did a survey of before that, the town meeting working group, before us did a survey and one of the things that came out of the survey they like opportunity to ask questions uh, so when we developed the town meeting study and improvement committee uh, we put in there a, uh, a requirement one of our enumerated, enumerated duties is to organize and run pre town meeting forums because at a forum you're not bound by town meeting rules so there's an opportunity for an exchange between the sponsor of an article and the town meeting members. In fact, it's, it's open to the public. I was just going to say, so and you don't even have to be a town well. meeting member, no. so anybody that wants to learn about an right. article can go ask questions. Right. If I remember one of them, uh, I can't remember if it was last May or the previous October, it was when we were debating the zoning change to allow self-service gas. Mm -hmm. I remember the, the um, company advocating for the change, which did pass, actually learned a few things that they wound up changing by the time it went to the town meeting floor. That's right. Th it has two purposes. One, it gives the town meeting members and the public an opportunity to ask questions. And also, for the sponsor, it gives he or she some insight as to what might happen the following week at town meeting so they can go back anticipating, uh, have answers to those questions that were brought up and fine tune their presentation to make a smoother presentation. It's a great idea. At the town meeting. Now, you don't do every article on the warrant. No. Because you just can't do the time's sake. Right. So I understand that you have a process now for members of the public and town meeting members to help you pick what that is. So how does that work? Yeah, what we do is when we send out, uh, in fact, we, we're going to hit the, the media shortly. This is one opportunity for us to do that as well. Right. But we send out a notice and, and we ask the public and town meeting members to submit articles. Obviously, the warrant has to be available, and so when they can see the warrant, they'll look at the articles and, and give us their recommendations for what articles they would like to be addressed at the pre-town meeting forum. Okay, is, is there a date for the October 28th town meeting warrant to be available to the public? <laughs> not quite. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that that's still uh, not Just to let the folks yet. know that's a joke right. because we actually did have a date that fell through, so this yes. is our second right. try at taping this yeah. show to get the right facts out. I believe it's on the Selectman's agenda for this coming Monday to address the warrant. So okay. when, when that happens, we're, if we're assured that will happen on Monday, then we'll get out our public notices. And our, our goal is to try to have the responses for articles to be considered in by around October 8th. Okay. So on the homepage of the town of Milford's website, there is a button somewhere that says town meeting. Yes. And if you move your mouse to that and click on it, or yep. if you have a touch screen, tap it. Yep. That will take you to another page at which you should be able to find the warrant for the October 28th special town meeting. Yes. Then how do people, after they read it, get in touch with your committee to tell you which articles they'd like to see discussed at the pre-town meeting forum? Okay, now we have two pipelines to ask for uh, articles. Okay. One is a direct pipeline 
to the town meeting members via email to those town meeting members who have registered their email with the town clerk. Okay. We have about 30 members who have not done that, so we okay. send those out so by, by U.S. mail. Okay, now, so it, you're going to be sending them an email that says, which ones do you want discussed? Right. You know, well, fact, what, about, what about somebody like me or a, a, a non-elected person right. who says, I, I'd really like to go and hear him talk about that one? Well, if you go on the website again, the Town Meeting Study and uh, Improvement Committee webpage, you will find the instructions on how to do that. Okay. So basically it is, uh, look at the warrant, select as many as you want, and right. you, we have an email address. Uh, to, to Click on that click and on tell that. them which articles. Right. Yep. Then you're going to pick the top eight, ten? Ten. We, we ten. try to hold it to ten. Yep. Okay. In order of uh, preference? The highest number of responses we'll get, we'll rank them in that order. Okay. So we, and so then when you have the forum on the 22nd, those will be the articles being discussed. That's right. And the sponsors will come and explain them, and people can ask them questions. Right. We, we ask the sponsors, you know, not to read the article, especially if they're long. Just describe what it is and its purpose, and then, um, uh, then be open to ad answer questions. We also advocate that uh, either the sponsor or the uh, person in the audience does not advocate for or against. The purpose is to ask questions and try to get Right. You advocate at the, at the actual town meeting. Oh, yeah. We have a set of ground rules but that we publish as well, and we announce, we have handouts for those at the ground rules at the forum as well. It, it sounds like a great opportunity for people to find out, you know, when you read something like, uh, I know the personnel board is, is going to be recommending a change in the vacation schedule for the first few years someone's a town employee. Mm -hmm. And I mean, obviously... You know, if you're not a town employee and you're not a, a town meeting member, you just might want to go and ask a question. If that's one of the top ten, right. go and ask a question. Say, well, what do you mean you're changing it? How? Why? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it, it is. A, in fact, the last uh, uh, forum we had, we had a questionnaire, evaluation questionnaire at the end. Right. And uh, 94, 92% were, uh, said it was productive or very productive. And 94%, uh, we had a question, do you want to see it continued? The response was yes. So the, those at least that were there last time, which was probably about 75 and about 45 or so, responded to the questionnaire. But so that, that that's not bad to get 75 people out on a weeknight to learn about no. a warrant. <laughs> that's right, especially when we spend $100 million, right? Well, in fact, the last time we uh, forum, pre time meeting forum, we had the budget. And actually, and people asked about the school budget quite a bit. Right. And we got a lot of positive comments about how well the school department, the superintendent... Because for those who don't attend, normally the budget. normally you have a $110 million budget. Normally, that thing is passed with you know no debate yeah, yeah. Uh, because it's assumed the yeah. finance committee has vetted it fairly well. Right, yeah. But there, you got a chance to ask a lot of questions, yeah. and questions were asked on the school budget. In fact, the, the, the finance director was there because he usually doesn't testify at town meeting. Right. If he's asked a, if a question is asked, he will answer it, obviously. But he, there was a fair good exchange with the uh, financial director, the superintendent, and and the business manager from the school department. So that that went over very well, I thought. Now, this pre-town meeting forum has a wrinkle in it, in which is it is because um, well, I have to give you an introduction first. My town meeting study and improvement committee is studying electronic voting. So uh, we've got a three-phase program on how to introduce the subject of electronic voting to town meeting members, and it spans over two, three years. This this program. So one of the uh, uh, we had a, one of the co uh, uh, companies that provide that service come into the committee, give us a uh, demonstration of what it's all about. Right. If so, people don't know, you can rent these things, you can buy them, that's right. you can set them up to do all different ways of tabulating. Well, let's not get too deep in the weeds about the system. But right. Well, I was going to say, now, what are they going to do, though, at this demo well, to okay. simplify just giving people a look? Well, let me tell you, we, we, think, we think we're going to have a demo. Now, in, in this program we have to bring the subject to town meeting members, we want to have the May 2020 town meeting run with electronic voting. In order to do that, you have okay. to have an article in this warrant to authorize that meeting to be run with a demonstration of electronic voting. So we have an article in this October meeting for that authorization, not to sub 
sent, uh, subscribe to electronic voting okay. just, just to authorize a demonstration. At now, the it, May 2020 the, meeting. No. For this uh, forum, um, we've talked to the, one of the firms that provides this service, and they're willing to come in and give a demonstration, but it's going to be a, a PowerPoint demonstration. Right. It's going to show, you know, basically if a short period of time, what the major features, what it's all about. And, and at the end of that, we'll have in our questionnaire some questions that people can say, what you saw tonight, what do you think? And so th this first phase is really accumulating information. We, we've studied okay. uh, a lot of reports that were done by other communities, and uh, we're looking at uh, 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 the fact that town meeting, uh, the uh, Mass Monitoring Association did a survey of the towns that have, uh, have adopted uh, and, and those who have not adopted uh, electronic voting. And we know the neighboring town of Upton just recently adopted it. I know Brookline yeah, has right. it. I know yeah. some towns in the area, I think Framingham's looking at it or they have it. Well, uh, they're no I, longer I can't town remember. meeting though. Oh, uh, you're right, that, you know, yes, city. that's right. Yeah. Yeah, Amherst ha had it, but now they're no longer a town meeting either. Yeah, see, yeah, you no. got to preserve the democracy. Yes, that, that's, that's what my committee is all about. I still actually, just as an aside, as somebody who grew up outside of New England, I still remember the first town meeting I went to as a newspaper reporter was in the town of uh, Ashburnham, mm -hmm. Massachusetts, and marveling over the fact that you could debate things because when you grow up in a city area or a place where you don't have a town meeting, you're used to, well, they vote. Yeah. And I find it remarkable that whether people agree with you or not, there's a forum where you can get up, ask a question, right. um, say your piece, and people either agree or disagree, but it's mm -hmm. democracy. Yep, yeah, that's right. It's your, ch your choice. And as a community gets larger and larger or you go higher up the government chain, you lose that directness. Mm -hmm. So... Anything you do, personally, my opinion is, anything you do to preserve the forum the way it is is fantastic. Yeah, you know, I've been a town meeting member for over 45 years, and of course, I, my professional career was in the corporate sector. All right, so I was going to say, obviously, you became one at age 21. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so n no organization uh, uh, is in business for 45 years without taking an opportunity to step back and look at itself to see what it's doing right and what it could well, improve. Well, you ch change your die. Yeah, right, yes. So, so, we, uh, so th that's, that's our major goal, is to look at town meeting uh, and, and obviously get feedback from town meeting members from various surveys in other right. areas to find out what they like about it, what they don't like. And we're on a mission to, be, of the last survey, to, we had some 20 items that we're working on. One of them was to study electronic voting. Okay. So a little bit of an information session on October 20, uh, 22nd. Yeah. PowerPoint, this is how they work, what they can do. That's about it. Okay. Yeah, and then, then we'll get to the... Uh, well, we're presuming now that the committee's article is going to get in the top ten. Right. That's the wrinkle in this. Oh, I was going to say that. I know all the committee's going to vote for it. But Several know times. Anybody else would. So then May of 20, you'd do the annual town meeting a demo. Right. No, we will run the town meeting with electronic voting. Okay. But that will be, off. again, with no commitment. Now, the no next commitment. Phase, October of 21, then you'd be looking for funding and then implement in May of 22? No, October of 20. 20, I'm sorry. Well, we'll, have a, uh, we'll either have a recommendation or not by the October 20 time. Depends on how that demo, uh, that... Okay, so May of, May of 20 is right. the demo. Right. If successful... Well, you wait, wait, well, now we take a survey after that. Correct. So we have a survey question here, go okay. up to town meeting members... And it, based on that survey and other information, we'll You'd go for go funding on. in October of 20, 2020. And then, and then implement in the May, annual of annual May of 21. 21. Yeah, that's okay. right. That's the, that's the point. I get lost going forward. Yeah, right. It's too, far, too, too far ahead for me to consider. Yeah. Yes, I know. <laughs> so anyway, that's, that's the approach for that particular subject. Okay, but the main focus of the 22nd pre-town meeting meeting is still going over those articles. Oh, yeah. Ten, the 10 most... Uh, responded articles. We'll, we'll put those on the. We have a may put a couple on just in case we have some time, but uh, we want to try to stay at ten. Yeah, and I and I remember uh, having attended the first two. There, the questions are fairly good. Yeah, and they may range from just what is this about mm -hmm. to, hey, what about this and what about that? People actually getting down in the weeds and really questioning things in them. Oh, yeah. As opposed to why are you doing this? It's more like, well, that wording could be better this way. The school department got drilled pretty well at the last pre-town meeting forum. Yeah, they did. Yeah. And, and we, I, we, I don't remember 
having that experience at the town meeting. You know, I mean, that's, True. that's 50% of our budget. Higher. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. But people did get up at the town meeting, and based on the pre-town meeting, I remember two people made comments about the budget. Yes. Of things they had learned. Yeah. Um, that they probably wouldn't have been able to make those comments without asking a lot of questions yes. at the actual annual. Right. And as you know, when you start getting later and later at the annual, so basically you're shifting a lot of the questioning to a meeting before so yeah. that the actual voting and discussion. Because you don't know where a controversial article is lying in the bushes. Well, well, right? I, yeah. well I always have what I call Rudden's Rule of Town Meeting, which is the most innocuous thing That's right. on the warrant. The thing that you think nobody's going to ask a question at, that's the one that usually you wind up spending an hour discussing and yeah. voting on. Yeah. I can remember when an article when uh, someone wanted to have a chicken coop in his backyard. Yep. A zoning <laughs> change that was required to do that. But I think we spent an hour on that subject. And you would never think that that would, yeah, but it uh, created a lot of controversy. I think it got approved, but that's all right. Um, actually, it did because they, they still you still need oh, a didn't? zoning permit. I don't remember that. No, too many people. Pardon the pun. Too many people cried foul. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> hey, we're on TV. <laughs> so, I couldn't resist yeah, that one. Are. But I mean, no, you're right. I mean, you know, you'll see something that's debated every year, uh, like you know, taking the money from the uh, the vending machines at the schools and allocating it back to right. student activities. Yeah. And, you know, somebody who's new to the town might get up and say, hey, what about that? Well, in the last pre-town meeting forum, we had uh, uh, an article that got a lot of uh, response uh, for a liquor license. And usually those are almost routine at town meeting. You know, liquor license. Yeah, if I remember that, I mean, right. basically we have a set number of licenses based on population. Right. And you have to, uh, the selectmen have to petition the legislature to get a special license yeah. granted. And I think there were either one or two, and people actually got up and said, don't we have enough? What about this? What about that? And you're right, there was quite a discussion on it, and I believe that discussion carried over to the vote. Yes. Where did. somebody questioned and said, don't we have enough? Yeah, right. Um, so, so you're right. I mean, any, anything that looks normal could be the subject of a lot of questions. But I'll also point out that getting all those questions answered a week before could mean there's no debate on the town meeting floor because the people who were going to debate got all their questions answered. That's true. And then, like I say, the, uh, the sponsor have, has an opportunity to fine-tune his, his presentation uh, and get prepared for right. more. So if the, sponsor, uh, if, the sp dis sponsor, if the sponsor is a town uh, department head, they'll be at your forum, yep. hopefully, yep. to discuss it. And if it's an outside attorney or, uh, or, or like when we're talking about the liquor licenses, I believe their attorneys came forward. Yeah. They should be available to discuss things. As yeah. Well. When, when uh, at the pre-town meeting forum, if, for example, a sponsor of an article may be the selectmen, but the selectmen don't always get up and, and support their article. They have, they assign it to other people sometimes. And the idea at the pre-town meeting forum is you address the person presenting the article, not necessarily the sponsor. Right. So it could be, it could be, it could be uh, an attorney or somebody else. It could be Rick Filani, the town administrator, right. yeah. appearing on behalf yeah. of the board saying yeah. they're doing it for this. Yeah. In fact, you know, it's, uh, it's good to get these questions in a little bit early because now Rick has to inform the appropriate departments to make sure they show up. And then my committee takes care of any uh, other articles that are presented outside of the, the town departments. So Rick and I have a a good arrangement is he contacts some and I contact some, make sure that those sponsors, uh, their representatives, yeah. show up. And of course, the other the other fly in the ointment is on the day we're taping this, which is the uh, what is today, the 18th or 19th, 19th. of 19th. Uh, of yeah. September. Right. Uh, we don't know what the warrant articles are yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be another about five days before we know. That's right. So yeah. if we're so lucky, it's, <laughs> a, it's 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 yeah. always interesting yes. dealing with government. So. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> So it's somewhat of a moving target, uh, but we can adjust to that. Right, and just while we're on the subject, although it has nothing to do with your committee, the Finance Committee has scheduled meetings on October 9th and 10th mm -hmm. to review those financial articles on that yeah. October 28th yeah. warrant. Just throw that in if people are interested. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> because that is the process. Uh, anything yes, with you know, in October we usually take care of capital items. Right, so yeah. anything, but anything to deal uh, with uh, a monetary impact on the town, yeah. the Finance Committee will mm -hmm. look at and give a review. Yeah. 
And then they're all driving to, they have a deadline to get their report mailed oh, yeah. out to town meeting members. Mm -hmm. Um, just as the warrant needs to go out to town meeting members by right. so many days or weeks before the meeting. So I think it was a couple of weeks before. Right. So everybody's yeah. driving to the, to the same goal, right. including you, of getting people informed. No, we have an advantage in that when the selectmen approve the warrant, then the town administrator gets it on the website quickly. Immediately. Which is, which is uh, sometimes a week or more before when the town clerk has to send it out. So this is, gets to be public information in advance I, of when you get the warrant in the mail. I, I'm going to guess that if the selectmen approve that warrant on uh, on uh, forthcoming Monday night, it'll be on the website on Tuesday morning. Yeah, it happens very quickly. Yeah, it's they've got they've got it down to a good science. So now my committee's ready to go. It. When when that bell rings, <laughs> we're, we're, we're out. We're out of the gate. So it's sort of to use a military term: hurry up and wait until then. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. No, we're all sitting around waiting. That's okay. Well, you've created a process. Yeah. And you're just waiting for the somebody to say go. Yeah. And we think it's a, it's a fair process in that um, my committee is organized, I'll take a moment to, to tell people that if they're interested, um, in the following way. We, we've organized in subcommittees and uh, task groups. We were all subcommittees. Right. right. But nine committee members, you and you've got 22 things to work on. Well, well let, me, let me just explain that. You have one member from East, Pre East one member Precinct, from, yeah. so that's eight. Plus one. Plus one. One, one uh, uh, that At the large. moderator picks from the town meeting body. Okay, so they're all so, you're all town meeting members. Oh yeah, you have to be a town meeting member. Okay. In fact, to get on the committee, you got to submit an application. So you got to right. show you are. And a you're town smart. You have an odd number, which means you can take a lopsided vote. Yeah, and, right. And which never be tied. Very often, anyway. But, well, but but yeah. you don't want to wind up tied on a, a right. key issue. So and we're term limited too by this. And what are the terms? Uh, we can serve uh, two town meetings. Like I, if if I serve a. I can serve in two town meeting terms. Six years I can serve. Okay. But after that, that's it. So how long do you have left? I think I have one more after this one. <laughs> <laughs> Year or term? Huh? No, Year? a term. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm, I'm good for another <laughs> three, two, three years. Well, you now. want some continuity. But, I, you know, there's always opportunity for others. But well, anyway, uh, we're, we're getting sort of sidetracked here. True. So, so we're organized by, uh, now we change the organization from all subcommittee structure there's some subcommittees and task groups. Okay. Now. And, and right. obviously, uh, um, one of the tasks is conducting the pre-town meetings. Well, no, that's a subcommittee, because that's going to be a recurring oh, okay. thing. We, we kept well, the recurring. One of the tasks is electronic voting. Well, one of the tasks, yeah. It's about this okay. subcommittee uh, does the work on that. And it's a three-member subcommittee, so it's okay. not very big. But now, because you're now a subcommittee, you have to follow the same open meeting laws you do as the full committee. Correct. So when my subcommittee gets the warrant uh, articles to people would like to see addressed, we hold a meeting publicly advertised. People can come in to make sure we don't jiggle the votes, right? Right. So you look so at the votes and then you right. We just tally them up and, the and 10, then you 9, make a formal seven. vote to say these are the. And then we recommend that to the committee, to the full committee. Right. Then the committee meets the following night. And sprinkles holy water on it, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're off moving to get the agenda out and get it to town meeting members so they can digest it. Well, you can always and the sponsors. I was going to say, you can always just go down to the Charles River and get a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Whatever it takes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it's it's run pretty well. Uh, when when we first uh, the subcommittee. Oh, then we have another group of people <laughs> yeah. uh, that are also town meeting members. They don't have to be, but they are. Uh, four that have couldn't commit to a committee uh, regimen, but volunteered to assist the committee as consultants. They have some particular expertise, okay. either legal or communication skills or computer well, that's skills. That's not bad, right? So they, we have four people uh, signed up to do that. So we have we're trying to now uh, obviously make sure we have a, a vibrant uh, committee and the right assistance we need to get through these items that work identified in the survey. Okay. Well, while you're here, is there any any type of talent you're looking for to be a volunteer well, that you, you know, don't have? Uh, maybe, uh, no, we got, we got some legal expertise. We got some uh, uh, municipal planning uh, uh, expertise. We have a person who has worked with surveys before. In fact, two people have worked with surveys okay. before. So, uh, Communication is probably, and, and public relations is probably the place where we're not super great at, 
Um, yeah, a lot do. of people don't know, even know who we are. You In do, fact, you we have a good job here. We, yeah, <laughs> but that's twice a year. <laughs> we have a, um, an email address. Of course, I have to check the emails. And I don't get any emails. <laughs> so, I mean, I get personal emails. But that could be a good thing, you know. <laughs> well, I don't know. Well, I know. We're looking for input, you know. I know. We're available. In fact, uh, you know, someone who thinks they have an, an article that would make an improvement to the town meeting, we welcome them to come to our committee and have us consider it. If we think it's worth sponsoring, we would do sponsor it. If we don't think it's uh, uh, important enough to do, uh, we, we won't. But uh, you know, if people have articles they would like to see that, remember now, we're focused on improving town meeting, not, not to fix all of Milford's town government process. Right. That, a lot of people have ideas of how to fix that. <laughs> that we're not in that business. That's, that's too big an elephant for, for anybody. <laughs> So anyway, that's, that's uh, the the, uh, the long and the short of it. Uh, I don't know what else I could tell you that. Uh, okay. okay. So let's let's try to run through the dates. Okay. Somewhere around September twenty third or so, <clears throat> the warrant's going to get approved and be on the town website. Uh, hopefully. Somewhere around that date, the twenty fourth well, maybe. What, what makes you so optimistic? <laughs> uh, the next selectmen's meeting is is yes, Monday. Uh, is Monday from the date we're yeah, taping right. this. Which anyway, I think is the twenty third. We're speculating, but go ahead. Okay, I think that's the twenty third. Yeah. So I would say by the twenty fourth or twenty fifth, the warrant will be available. Yeah. You'd like people to look at it and get back to you by the end of the first week in October. Well, we got to get some publicity out there, which will take a few days. Okay. Two, three, four days. You know, uh, Milford TV. Yep. Yeah. This uh, with this program, you think will get up soon? A meeting with Al Correa later on this evening. Uh, so he'll he'll show get some attention. Milford Daily News, the Patch. All the eight or, eight or so media we have to publicize this. Plus, I said the direct pipeline into the town meeting members via our email list and our mail list okay. of the town meeting members. So, but you'd like people to give suggested articles no later than what date in October? October eighth. October eighth. Yeah. Okay. Then you're having the forum on the twenty second. Right. Sounds like we're we're rehearsing those dates pretty good. Yeah. I mean, we're clicking on all four <laughs> cylinders right now. It could, the, the train could come to a stop any time, but uh, so far not. But speaking of stoppings, our half hour's over, so thank you. Oh, that's it? Okay, great. <laughs> thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you.